Howdy folks, hope you're all having a great weekend, and welcome back to Warhammer 40,000 Chaos Gate Demon Hunters, where Inquisitor Waifu is being a real pissy little bitch. Although I suppose it is only fair, because I did throw her under the bus at the last Grandmaster's report, um, <laughs> so fair enough, she's entitled to that. But now that I finally get to use her in battle on the chaos-infested Eldar craft world, I have been very careful to save her special abilities for what happens when we go through that door at the end of the first level, because I know I'm going to need them. Or so I thought. Oh shit, that's an avatar of Cain, the Eldar god of murder. That could be really bad news. The heart of a craft world. The avatar of Cain's strength has faded, but it remains untouched by the contagion. Inquisitor, do not let your fascination keep you from the objective. Be vigilant. The soul of the Eldar Avatar may have yet survived. Those are mere echoes of its once mighty spirit purifier. This thing has not stirred in millennia. Oh, you just had to say it, didn't you? Inquisitor! Report. This is it. The heart of the Nexus. An Eldari Infinity Circuit. Where the souls of their dead reside. I can sense other bloom seeds below. But they feel... different, somehow. They suckle on the remaining power of the craft world, germinating here in... great demonic vessels. A slaughtered craft world used as a demon's nursery. This blasphemy should be destroyed at once. No, we know nothing of the plague's origin. This may be our only chance to learn its secrets before it matures into something far worse. Warning. Corrupted Xenoarchaeotech is highly unpredictable. The path before us is plain, Inquisitor. Brothers, prepare to fire. You are here on my authority, Knight. Stand down. I must first commune with this Nexus. I see it now. Each demonic vessel fosters a great seed. A very strength. Inquisitor! Once there were five, but one has already sprouted. Carrying the plague we've fought so far, the rest are waiting. Do you feel it? The embrace of the great corruptor. This entity yet lives. Five reapers, five harvesters of the grandfather's crop. Five charred gates in a putrid orchard, fed on the light of a trillion souls. Then the Morbus will come! Inquisitor, I sense a powerful concentration of warp energy below. The demonic vessels are responding to our presence. Are they maturing somehow? The machine spirits recoil. Our Auspex readings are disrupted. Inquisitor, this is madness. You must withdraw now. No! I need a sample. Just a sample! Have you taken leave of your senses? Brothers, defend the Inquisitor. Yep, 
took great care to save all of her abilities for this part of the mission and can't use any of them because she's busy communing with the demonic nursery embedded within the infinity circuit at the heart of the Eldar craft world. Well, shit. Also, all of your Grey Knights get all of their hit points and all of their willpower back at the start of this mission as well. So you can just go nuts right up to the point where you open that door and trigger that cutscene. Because it doesn't matter what you spend up until this point. But from here on in, it's going to take command. the Inquisitor command. eight command. turns command. to finish her communion with the Infinity Circuit. So you must keep her alive for the next eight turns. No Iolanthus, that is a Medicaid servo skull. <laughs> They're not out of range, it's just not an extractor servo skull. I can't remember how long it took me before I realised this. Right, okay, let's have a good look around. Any environmental hazards that I can use to my advantage here? If there are any, I'm not seeing them. Okay, so we have a plague marine with a plague spreader capable of putting out a hazard spray which he has already done he's got three armor 10 hit points 50 percent resistances as well that's not good um the rest of them all seem to be melee plague bearers i mean their blades of affliction are pretty nasty but they have to close to melee range to actually be able to use them I'm slightly more concerned about the random mutations they can gain to buff themselves. And they're also got strong resistances. Right. Okay, so who's up first? Where is Interceptor Storm? There he is. Apothecary Han. Purgator Thul. Um, that looks like a decent spot. He's got line of fire to, well, pretty much all of them from there, and he's in half cover, so. Are any of them in range? Oh, that one is in range of his shred attack, but that's going to drain all of his ammo, so. Uh, maybe a grenade? Because they are clustered quite closely together. I can get two of them if I drop the grenade there. It's going to hurt one, strip most of the armor off another. Actually, I can get three of them if I drop the grenade there, so that's what we're going to do. Fire in the hole. Okay. Oh, there are actually two Plague Marines. Okay, well, we've knocked most of the armor off one of them. Let's see if we can finish the job. Firing on target. Get some reaction fire there from Interceptor Storm as well, although it only does two damage, and that leaves the first Plague Marine on three health. Right. So, Interceptor Storm. I could kill that guy from here with a Storm Bolter, but... Yeah. I'm going to rush Apothecary Harn up instead and finish him off with a melee attack. Right, one Plague Marine down. Apothecary Han still has one action point. I can shoot this guy from here. Which is nice. Didn't kill him, but he's now an easy kill with three hit points remaining. So, Interceptor Storm. Uh, actually, let's see what Iolanthus can do. Where can I move him to? He can shoot the other Plague Marine from there, but that's not going to it. Back to Interceptor Storm. What can I do with him? Let's have a look. See, the problem here is the Teleport Strike would have been a great ability, but Purgator Thule's grenades scattered them all. So the best I can actually do is kill that one Plague Bearer, and that, that's as close as I can get to the other one. No match. And then he's just going to have to run in and melee. I'll use the hammer hand ability to get a crit. Your end is near. And we will... I'm going to disable its melee weapon. Because it only has a melee weapon. 
Do I have another action point? I do. I won't kill it. But without its melee weapon, it's going to be running out of options. The Force Strike, that nah, still won't kill it, so there's no point in expending the willpower. That does still leave Iolanthus. Now, I'm going to go ahead and honor the chapter. And I'll warp charge it as well. So that's an extra point of willpower and three action points for it to set the storm. So he can now finish this one off what is your and maybe finish off that Plague Marine as well. Actually, he's not going to be able to finish off that Plague Marine. I mean, maybe if I teleport over to him, then I might get the action point back. He's got a 50% chance of recovering the action point spent on any teleport ability. But it's not going to kill him, so I think the better thing to do would be to just get into cover. And I can still shoot this guy from here. So, why the hell not? Actually, no. Because it's only going to strip his armour. And he's going to recover his armour at the beginning of his turn anyway. So, um, I still haven't figured out that that is not an extractor servo skull. At some point I will, although maybe not today. Right, um, so Iolanthus with two action points. What the hell can I do? I can move him to there, and he's in line of fire, but then he doesn't have any action points left. And he won't be able to kill that guy anyway. Although if he shoots with a storm bolter, it'll get through the last piece of armour and do some damage. But it's academic, because I don't have the action points to get close enough to do that. What's he doing? It looks like he's loading up the hazard spray and targeting Iolanthus. And he has hit Iolanthus, and Iolanthus is now plagued. The warp meter rises by 40%, and a fresh wave of reinforcements arrives. You must withdraw immediately, Inquisitor. Is a brief skirmish too taxing for the Emperor's most elite? You mock us now, but heed this. If any of my brothers are made to suffer for your delays, you will answer to me for it. So, um, yeah. One Plague Marine still alive. Iolanthus plagued. And if I realised that he was carrying a Medicaid servo skull, they can actually cure afflictions. But because I still think he's carrying an extractor servo skull, and I couldn't figure out why it wasn't working. <laughs> Iolanthus still has the plague. I'm trying to blast down this plague marine with apothecary harm. But unfortunately he keeps having to reload his storm bolter, so Purgator Thule, finish this guy off for us. Eight turns you have to keep the Inquisitor alive, and every turn you get fresh reinforcements. So if you start slacking and not clearing up those reinforcements each turn, you will very, very quickly get overwhelmed. And of course they keep coming in from different sides, so if you've got a heavily melee focused group, and let's face it, the way this game works, most of the time you will, you're going to be wasting action points getting from one side of the room to the other just to engage those fresh reinforcements, which is going to lead to you basically being slowed down. Right, Iolanthus. I'm going to move him over here so he can at the very least cover the Inquisitor. Careful not to step through any additional hazards. You can add waypoints to your movement, just in case the default AI plots a path that would lead you through some kind of hazard. I set up Overwatch with Storm. And now it's their turn. Iolanthus takes some plague damage. We're going to get the Warp Surge, of course. This guy picks up a mutation. But, you know, we're handling it pretty well. Also, I thought. Welcome to the cradle of your salvation. Blessed you are indeed to witness this historic moment. Be wary, brothers. That is a demon prince of Nurgle. No shit! Ah, uh, yes. Fuck! 
<laughs> yeah, things just got a lot worse. He teleported Iolanthus to a position where, well, let's not forget, it's a fresh turn, there are reinforcements. So Iolanthus is going to be dealing with them, and he's not going to be any help against this demon prince. So let's take a closer look at this arsehole. He's surrounded by a cloud of flies, so he takes minus two damage from all ranged attacks. He has 36, <laughs> 36 health. As we've already seen, he can target any one of my knights and teleport them pretty much anywhere he wants. I mean, look at those special abilities. Shit. He actually has quite a few tricks up his sleeve. Purgator Fool, heavy weapon range support. He's going to do two whole damage to this guy. But what's this? Creates reflections when hit. What the hell is that? Oh, I'm not sure about this. Yeah, I think I might be better off using Purgator Fool to clean up the Plague Bearers. But there's a, there's a miasma of weakness over there. Ah! I'm going to have to move in order to actually get line of sight. And I don't want to move into that cloud of affliction there. Oh, no. All right, we'll come back to him in a minute. Let's see what Interceptor Storm can do. So I think the situation calls for a teleport strike. You can only actually hit one of them with a strike, though. But it gets him past that miasma of frailty. So we'll finish this guy off. And thank you, by the way, to everybody who pointed out in the previous video that the Interceptors have special abilities, which means they can never be parried. So I don't have to worry about any enemies with uh, a 50% chance to parry an attack. Didn't know this at the time, of course, but I know it now. He's only got the one action point left. He is not going to kill that plague bearer. Ah. Purgator Fool. Um... I can move him up there. He can't hit the Plague Bearer, but he's not inside the Miasma of Frailty. Ah, the only thing he can actually shoot from there is the Demon Prince. I can move him to there, and he's not inside the Miasma of Frailty, and now he can shoot the Plague Bearer, so... Yeah. Hey, it's dead. That's at least the previous turn's reinforcements sorted. Right, Apothecary Harm. Is it time to use a stratagem, maybe? Actually, maybe not yet. Let's see what Iolanthus can do over here, because he's basically going to have to deal with the reinforcements. So, Hammerhand crit attack. And... Armor Pierce. No, I think we'll disable his range weapon. One more. And even a force strike isn't going to kill him. Uh, great. Armor Pierce doesn't make any difference. I've already hacked his armor out. We may as well go for the stun, even though it isn't actually going to stun him. Now then, Apothecary Han. I don't think I can really do anything with him other than maybe melee the Demon Prince. Or maybe get over here. I'm going to need him over here, actually. Well, at least I was thinking I'm going to need him over here, but I still don't realise that Iolanthus has a Medicae Servo Skull. So I'm thinking with Iolanthus, this was my thought process at the moment, with Iolanthus engaged with two Plague Marines and he's suffering from a Plague damage over time, he's going to need support from the Apothecary. But I still haven't figured out that Iolanthus is carrying a Medicae Skull and not an Extractor Skull. He's going to get shot in the back by the second plague marine, but his armour mostly takes it, and he's at least not going to get shot by a bolt gun from the marine in front of him, because he hacked his arm off, so a melee attack. Well, it could have been worse. Wait, what's he doing? What's he doing? Oh my god, he just healed himself. And the prince... So what's the demon prince up to? Right, that's an area of effect hobble, so he's drained movement from both Storm and Fool, and now he's teleporting Fool all the way over there. Oh, what are my manners? Cadex, I am called. Cadex Ilcarian. 
son of the seventh blight, the beast of Systemonius. And now, warden to our grandfather's most majestic gift, the Bloom. Brothers, destroy this putrid prince. Oh, how thrilling to entertain such esteemed guests from faraway Titan. The grandfather will be so pleased. Yeah, working on it, Hector. So, two fresh reinforcement plague marines, and we still haven't killed the two plague marines that we got in the previous turn, I think. I'm going to use the Gate of Infinity and just try to focus this Demon Prince down. Right. Everybody hit this guy. Starting with Apothecary Han and then working our way through everybody. And Apothecary Han gets a lucky crit. So, what are we going to do here? Disable Cursed Bond. Ooh, Disable Cloud of Flies. He no longer benefits from the minus two range damage, so... Purgatory Fool will be happy. Wait, 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 what was that? Oh, fuck off. You've got to be kidding me. He teleported away. I just wasted the Gate of Infinity stratagem. Got everybody on top of him. Everybody within melee range. <laughs> and the second he gets hit, he teleports away. Fuck. I think I'm going to... Quicksilver stratagem on Interceptor Storm and just have him go medieval on that guy after he's teleported away. Unleash me. Yeah, hobbled. Well, it doesn't matter Unleash if you're teleporting. Me. So, um, let's get Iolanthus healed up though, because he needs it and he is still plagued, which is less than good. We're also going to honour the chapter, and we're going to warp charge it, so that's a shit ton of extra action points for Interceptor Storm. And now he's going to teleport strike the shit out of that Demon Prince. So, he is in range, that's good. Wait, why is it not letting me... Why is it not letting me select him as a target? Surely he's in range. Uh, come on. I think... Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna blow one action point just to move him... I don't know, maybe he needs line of sight. I don't know, at this point I'm struggling to guess. So let's try the teleport strike again. There we go. Um, I'm not too worried about the Plague Marines behind him. We're gonna warp charge this to do the maximum damage. And then we're going to carve his shit up with six attacks from Interceptors. What? What? Again? Does this guy just teleport every time you hit him? I don't even know where he teleported to. Where the hell is he? All the way over there? Are you fucking shitting me? <laughs> Oh, great. Right, well, Intercept the Storm's got all of these action points now. I may as well use them. The only thing you can use them on is this latest wave of reinforcements. Maybe if I can get a stun, give everybody else a much-needed action point. Come on. He's stunned. Now we get to execute him. Everybody gains an action point. And, well, he's only got the one action point left. So it's not going to be enough to kill that other Marine, so I'm just going to Aegis Shield him. And it seems that every time you hit this motherfucker, he teleports. Yeah. Well, shit. I wish I'd known that before I blew... Honor the chapter and the Quicksilver stratagem. <laughs> Remember, kids, learn from my mistakes. Although it's hard to see how I could have known. Uh, right. Um, on the bright side, he's no longer covered by the cloud of flies. Apothecary Han uh, disabled that. So Purgatory Fool's side cannon. Wait, no, he's using a silencer. 
can actually hurt him. Unfortunately, the staircase leading up to him is covered by a miasma of frailty, and I really don't want to be standing in that because you'll do less damage. So I think I'm probably just going to have to start dealing with the reinforcements. As you come because, on. I mean, they're starting to get out of hand. There are so many things that you can fail on in this mission. You've got to keep up with the reinforcements, but you also have to kill this demon prince, and it's real hard to do both. I wonder what the warp surge is going to be this turn. Yeah, the uh, Aegis shield on Interceptor Storm was definitely the right idea. What's this guy up to? Overwatch, maybe? Yep. So nobody's getting up those stairs to deal with him. There's another one back there. Oh, this is the guy who had his arm chopped off, so he's not going to be able to do an awful lot. Demon Prince does something. And then I moved Iolanthus to protect the Inquisitor. He blinds Iolanthus and then teleports him all the way up here. <laughs> Here's the Warp Surge. One of my knights suffers the hobbled affliction for three turns, so that's a shit. Reduced mobility. That is the last thing you need in this room. Okay. Storm's going to need all the help he can get here, so I don't think I can warp charge it. No, it requires four willpower. We'll honor the chapter and give him an extra two action points. We're really starting to get overwhelmed by these reinforcements. Your command. And yeah, Storm's running out of willpower as well. He needs some kills. Oh, he's going to be able to kill this plague bearer, but that's more or less going to be it. He does have two action points left, though. Ah, uh, uh, I think the play bearer is going to be an easier kill. And we have a crit. I'll disable its melee weapon because it doesn't have ranged weapons. And can I actually? I'm not going to be able to get a kill here. Um, I'm just going to teleport away. Where can I teleport to that's in good cover? Um, yeah, actually. That's pretty good. Do I get the action point back? I don't. Right. Well, Iolanthus can... Well, he's not quite close enough to shoot this guy. How close can I get him with only one action point spent? Close enough. Right. Oh, wait. He's only going to get to shoot him once, isn't he? He's going to teleport away. So I need to make this shot count. And he doesn't even have the one willpower left to charge that up with a Cybolt. So a basic Storm Bolter attack it is, and then he teleports away, and wait a minute, what's that? What creates reflections when hit? Two of them. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Two of them with 32 health each. Um... Or are they reflections? Is, is one of them the real thing? I, I, I don't know. Oh my god, no. Alright, shoot this thing, see what happens. Okay, we'll get the reaction shot from Intercept the Storm there as well. This is a bit of a good news, bad news situation here. The fact that that thing did not teleport away when hit tells me that it is a reflection and it's not the real thing. That's the good news. The bad news is... It has 32 health. <laughs> and there are two reflections. Shit. Oh, no, wait a minute. The other two reflections have gone. That must be the real thing. And it didn't teleport away when we shot it. Oh, now I'm confused. Is that... A Cloud of Flies disabled. I mean, I'm assuming that when it creates reflections, the reflections are basically carbon copies of the Demon Prince at the moment that the reflections were created. So if his 
cloud of flies is disabled, then the reflections cloud of flies is disabled as well. But the other two reflections are gone. And yet that one isn't teleporting away when I hit it. You know what? I'll figure this out later. Right now I just know that there's a big bastard in front of me who's taking damage. And I need to keep that up. But I also need to deal with all of the reinforcements that keep appearing that I still haven't cleaned up from the previous three turns. And are starting to overwhelm me. And Iolanthus got teleported away so there's nobody covering the Inquisitor. Oh shit. Now, wait just a moment. Is... is that... Karth of Kia? <laughs> My dear, you are the perfect addition to our little saga. Do I know you, demon? Right, you fail this mission if she dies. Even more reinforcements, this time with heavy weapons. Ah, this is not an easy mission. Right, Purgatorf all got teleported all the way over here. Um, we just need to start cleaning up the reinforcements, or at least trying to keep them moderately under control. Opening fire. Can take this guy out with three actions. Nine health left. I don't think the he can. Enemy is wounded. Oh, well, he's got nothing else that he can do for over here, so whatever. Right, Iolanthus. Ah, you've got no willpower left. I can't force strike. Right, just smack this thing in the back with your force halberd. Is it going to teleport? It does teleport now. Maybe it... Oh, and it's created more reflections. I don't even understand what's happening anymore. <laughs> I'm just going to shoot it again. <laughs> teleport away, see if I care. No, you've still got no willpower left. You can't charge it with a cybolt. Just shoot it. Is it going to teleport again? It didn't, and it cancelled the reflections. Alright, shoot it again. It's down to 13 health. I just don't understand the rules anymore. <laughs> Apothecary Han. Ah, nice. Another lucky crit. Go for the stun. And now the execute. Actually, it might have been a better idea. Well, it doesn't really matter. I mean, everybody gets one action point back on a successful execute. But it might have been a better idea to have Intercept the Storm get the execute and the extra point of willpower. Because I think I might need to send Apothecary Harn over to heal the Inquisitor. Um, but he's going to warp charge a heal on Intercept the Storm, who is wounded. This will give him another additional action point. Iolanthus just got an action point back as well. But he has to reload so he can't shoot. So I'll switch to Purgator Fool. He doesn't have line of fire. Ah. Well, he can shoot this Plague Marine. Disrupt shot isn't going to make a huge bunch of difference. Sadly, it is not going to kill him unless he gets a lucky crit, and he doesn't. But it does stun him. Unfortunately, there's nobody available to follow up and execute. Um, no, it doesn't have line of fire. Has to reload. Is he in melee range? Can he hit him with... No, he's not in melee range. Ugh. Can't take advantage of any of this. I'm just going to age his shield and hope that Iolanthus draws their attention rather than Purgator Fool, but it's probably going to be Fool, he's the closest. Now, Storm does have four action points. I really need to clean up these reinforcements, but there's too many of them for him to handle by himself. Oh, wait a minute. The teleport strike will kill that guy. Does he get the action point back? He does. He still has four action points. Okay, the Storm Bolt is empty, but... He's definitely in melee range. 
Yep, four strike this, do as much damage as possible in case he teleports away again. And he doesn't. Focus, Commander. Four strike again. No, he can't, he's got no willpower left. Oh, he doesn't need to, he's still got two attacks. And he's not teleporting away, we've got him. Oh, come on. That's not it. We still... Ooh, inc wow, the Inquisitor's almost dead. Um, right, Intercept the Storm has one action point left. Let's just get him into cover. Fortunately, the Inquisitor is on the opposite side of the Infinity Circuit from all of these reinforcements. Reinforcements who seem to be doing very, very nasty things. Just out of my line of sight. But I do still have to deal with the reinforcements and keep the Inquisitor alive for the next two, possibly three turns. This drain attack is nasty as well because it basically drains their willpower. They're all going for the Apothecary. He's drained again. He's losing willpower at a prodigious rate. Fortunately, they're going for him. He's in Terminator armor and he's on full health. Although he's not going to be on full health for very long if they keep this up. Oh, you've got to be kidding. Oh no, that one's going to resurrect all of the dead guys around him. Hang on a minute. Medicaid servo skull. I finally figured it out. <laughs> and right in the nick of time. Because the Inquisitor was about to die. So I finally got some use out of that servo skull. I wish I'd figured it out earlier. I could have used it on Iolanthus himself and removed that plague affliction. Um, yeah. We need to start killing these reinforcements. And quick. So we're going to start with this guy. I mean, the best I can do is one attack from Iolanthus. Um... Do we want to warp charge the heal? I think so. I think he's going to need the extra action points to both heal himself and deal with that plague bearer in front of him. So. Yep. It's down to four health. Oh, yep. Yep. The second attack wasn't going to kill it. He did need the extra action point. Right. One plague bearer down. Still got a lot of reinforcements to clean up. Interceptor storm. Uh, Unleash me. actually, no. Purgator Fool, he's going to need to reload. Two action points left. He's in good cover. And I have no stratagems left, because I could have really used some extra action points here. And of course, we don't get the Prognosticar stratagem, because this craft world is not covered by the Prognosticars. Ugh. And those guys will easily be able to reach him in their turn and hack him up with their melee attacks. So I'll move to here because that only costs the one action point. And then, which one am I going to shoot? That one. And hope that they can't reach him in their turn. So what can I do with Interceptor Storm? Well, there's no way he's taken down all three of those in one turn with only one point of willpower. But he can parry attacks. Something that Purgator Thule cannot do. Oh, and he's out of ammo as well. Shit. Okay, we have to reload. One action point left. That's not going to kill him. And even if I boost it with his last remaining point of willpower, it still wouldn't kill him. So let's hope they go for Interceptor Storm and he gets some nice parries off. Nope, it's going for Purgator Thule. But it didn't have enough action points remaining to also attack him. Neither did that one. That one, however, did. And he didn't get a parry. Okay, okay, I'll take it. That could have been substantially worse. What's this guy up to? Oh, he's the one with the hazard spray. And he has hit Apothecary Han. Now what's he doing? 
This one's moving up. Nice. Got a reaction attack off. Didn't do anything other than shave his armor off. And yeah, well, it doesn't really matter because our lamp just didn't have any willpower left anyway. So the drain attack we can live with. Is he setting up Overwatch? That's not good. Bloom rises. We do not get a warp surge, but we do get more reinforcements. Oh no, three more Plague Marines. How much longer do we have to keep this up? Yeah, your sensors aren't the only things that are getting overwhelmed here, Lunette. The foe bleeds. Power. There's it some willpower. Uh, uh, the shred attack would be useful. And he can do it without hitting Storm, that's good. That has drained all of his ammo, of course. So he's gonna have to reload. He's got one action left. Can he kill one? No. Shit. Okay, well, just do what you can. Ah, reaction attack. Nice. Of course, Interceptor Storm also fires at everybody that gets shot at within his Storm Bolter range. Use that point of willpower to disable this guy's melee attack with the uh, basically guaranteed crit from the hammer hand. And I think I am just going to Aegis Shield because I can't... Well, we'll come back to that in a moment. Can I actually do anything with the Apothecary? Not really. Not without walking into Overwatch. I think I'm just going to shield him up because he is going to get attacked next turn. And then run into the Overwatch and heal up Iolanthus. Yeah, it seems like the right thing to do. Yep, the Aegis Shield takes the Overwatch. Don't have to worry about the Overwatch anymore. Iolanthus is now healed. Right, Iolanthus, start carving shit up. You've got no willpower, unfortunately. You can't force strike it, so a regular hit. Oh, he's got the crit. Nice. That was a spot of luck. Go for the stun. And again. And now he is stunned. And now I can execute and give everybody a fresh action point. And we badly needed that. Next. Let's see what we can do. Yep. Apothecary Han can shoot this guy from here. We may as well charge up with a side bolt. There's no point in saving willpower at this point. And he's inflicted a bleed on him. Iolanthus can force strike because he just killed one Plague Marine and got a willpower point back for it left this guy on six health. Now, Fool and Storm also got a bonus action point. Storm can't reach that guy, but he can kill this fella. So we'll do that. One less Plague Bearer to worry about. Now, Purgator Fool, he has the range to hit that Marine, because the Silencer has a range of 21, but he doesn't have a line of sight. So I'm just gonna Aegis Shield him. Because we're gonna get more reinforcements. Yep, they're shooting at Apothecary Han. Uh, yeah, it's fine. He's the one in Terminator armor and he did still have some bonus armor up. What's this fella up to? Overwatch? I don't think he's actually overwatching anything. So I'm happy with that. And what's this one going to do? He can actually shoot. But Apothecary Han survives quite easily. We're also about to get a warp surge. <laughs> <laughs> What's this one doing? Oh no! Hazard spray, and he also hits Apothecary Horn. I think there's one left, the one that, yep, the one that Iolanthus was engaged with. He hits Iolanthus, but his armor takes it. He then pulls out, and Iolanthus doesn't get a reaction attack off. And he heals himself, but he is bleeding, and here's the warp surge. What's it gonna be? Oh no, they're all gaining mutations. So he's now going to drain on his attacks. Wait, what? From the warp. This better not be another demon prince. The warp heaves with torment. What foulness do I find here? Doesn't sound like a demon prince. 
looks like a bit of a badass and right in time too because the fresh reinforcements and there's a lot of them include Terminator Plague Marines we are the hammer could use a bit of a hammer right now although supreme grandmaster how many grandmasters are there in this chapter I think some of these grand masters might be not quite as grand as we're being led to believe. The warp's tides are thick with the same corruption ravaging this sector. A burst of its foul energy drew me here from the other side of the veil. I can see no end to this foul bloom. But I've learned the truth, my lord. Nurgle means to spread this vile pox through five demonic reapers, each sowing seeds of this vile harvest. This craft world was their fetid spawning ground. I commend your discovery. But the arch enemy is alerted to your presence. You cannot remain. I task you, Kartha Bakir, to end this bloom's corruption. Cut loose this rot before it spreads to the wider Imperium. As you command, Supreme Grandmaster. Oh, please say I don't have to fight this lot. Plague Terminators, I don't even know what that thing is. I will clear this warp's interference so that you may return to your ship. Now go! In the Emperor's name. Roger that, boss. <laughs> Marines, we are leaving. Wait. Are we leaving the Supreme Grand Master behind? You know what? Acceptable losses. <laughs> and that is the Craftworld Usaria mission. And it is a bit of a bastard. And I actually completed it on my first attempt, which I was not expecting to happen. I'd seen one guy doing this mission on Twitch, so I had some idea of what to expect, even though at the time I didn't really understand what I was seeing because I'd only had the game a couple of days and he absolutely got his ass handed to him over and over and over. That mission is brutal but we did it and i was lucky enough to get it done on my first attempt and well here's the thing completing this mission is no small achievement but you kind of have to put it into context because and you'll see what i'm talking about in the next video pretty much everything that you've done up until this point can be considered the tutorial <laughs> <laughs> because the game itself really only opens up after this point and if after hearing that you're thinking to yourself what the fuck <laughs> yeah <laughs> i'm really not exaggerating although we've run out of time now so i will be happy to explain further in the next video in the meantime i hope you've enjoyed this one Hope you're all having a great weekend, and as always, be pure, be vigilant, behave.